pop them up and sip the rest. I ain't about to stress because I'm out here feeling blessed. I'm living, damn. Pop them up and sip the rest. Pass it to the next, cause if I take it, that's my death. I'm living, yeah. Yeah, I'm living with the most love. Superstar with the gold glove. Going hard when I post up, yeah. Staying down with the real ones. Going down cause you kill one. Had to cut off all the dead ones, yeah. So pop them up and sip the rest. I ain't about to strip. My so weird now, AI. It's, it's unreal. Oh, God. <laughs> Catch that bitch in the block face up. Oh, oh. What's good, gang? It's BP here just checking in uh, at the podcast studios. About to, you know, shoot a couple podcasts with Joe Kim Noah today. Um, you know, he's my former teammate. I was his rookie, my vet. Um, but, you know, over the last couple of weeks, we had training camp and, um, you know, I got hurt. I hurt my hamstring, and uh, I'm out a couple of days, couple couple games. But um, you know, it's part of the game. It's part of the process. Injuries is a part of life. But you gotta stay locked in, baby. We're gonna be back soon. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it popping. We're gonna get it rolling, baby. But on Tuesday, it's ring night. So nothing else matters. We get them big fat rings. How you feel, man? Man, I feel great. I ain't gonna hold you. I feel great. Happy yeah. uh, you deserve it, man. Appreciate you that. You mm, cow. You made us proud for real, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Without y'all advice, I couldn't have made it out there, though. You know, they talk about energy players. They think it's about grabbing offensive rebounds and playing hard, but it's about so much more than that, man. Like, the way you, you were able to control the crowd, you know, it was just like, People under people don't people underestimate that stuff. You know That's a fact, bro. <laughs> That's you a know, fact. like that game, especially next year, that shit is gonna be so important because to Milwaukee, man, because you know, I'm sure you had other options and stuff, and the fact that you back over there, now your role gonna be even bigger. But I can just yeah. tell the difference by like, bro, every team need guys that's gonna that that don't give a and that's gonna go out there and pluck and play hard and bring that swag and energy to the team, bro. Yeah. Every team need one of those, cause if not, it's like shit just be feeling off, bro. Like shit just feel like off. You know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You know how in practice, you know what I'm saying? You be going at it, like you really, like, you really be talking. Yeah. Shit, you know what I'm saying? You really going at it. Joe Kim did fake the hand off and cross me over, <laughs> right to left, boom. <laughs> Take that, shit, rook. Fucking <laughs> rookie. Take that. Shit. Yeah, you already know. Man, you know, you know how it is. Rook. You know, I'm not gonna just let you let a little, little rookie just come in here, you know, just because he got high energy and shit. I mean, you gotta, you gotta feel it. Yeah, you gotta teach him real quick. Yeah. Yeah. Look at his plate. <laughs> well, well, Even though we come from completely different backgrounds, it was like a lot of his qualities that I liked about him as a young player. I was like, yo. I, it made me want to take extra time and like really show him the ropes even that much more, you know? And it was like, uh, I was happy that I got to spend a little time with Bobby. And I mean, all these qualities I'm talking about, that, they had nothing to do with the OGs, you know what I'm saying? He came in like that. He came in with that heart. That, he came in with that. That was there already. Just how somebody go to their job every day and they go to their workplace and they work hard as they can to take care of their family. This is my livelihood. So whatever it takes, this is how I take care of my family. It's the same thing. It's just a different, hey, just different shoes, man. Hey. Same. I never played the game like it was just business. Yeah. I don't, I don't like, when, when I look at you play, you're not playing the game like it's just business. <laughs> never. People can't put a tab on all of, all the relationships that you build with different people in, in, you know what I'm saying, the training staff and, you know what I'm saying, certain coaches and, you know what I'm saying, it's your teammates and the people outside. So I'm like, I already know it's probably tough leaving like the city of Chicago itself. Cause they love you and you love them. I'd say, like, that's a, that's a clickbait thing. Like, Joe Kim <laughs> tried to recruit LeBron Bosch when we were Bosch, 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 Bosch said he was coming to Chicago. Like, if that had happened, what do you think would have... Well, well, Molly, I don't 
know. You know it, Stephen A. I ain't even gonna lie, bro. They would have been tough. They'll probably still be in the shot. Yeah. LeBron and LeBron and D Rose still be there. Bro, bro. That, they, they probably would have won like five straight times. Oh, oh. We had a scrimmage on October 3rd. Kind of tweaked my hamstring a little bit, my left hamstring. I've uh, been out ever since, um, but still working towards, you know, making a return. We shooting for a date soon. Um, just trying to stay locked in as possible. Um, sometimes God give you and put you in situations like this to um, challenge you. And um, it's very challenging, but at the same time, it's some adversity that I have to overcome to get back to playing. So, um, you know, with that being said, it's ring night tomorrow. Um, worked as hard as we could to get to this point, to become champions, um, to get a ring at that. Um, players play. 15 plus years and never get a chance to go to the finals, let alone win the ring. So um, I'm grateful, I'm blessed, and I just can't wait to see it. Haven't seen it at all, but um, we're gonna stay locked in, get this hamstring right, but tomorrow ring night, I can't wait. Obviously, um, you can never go wrong with the Sakai's. I got almost every pair of Sakai's, so these just like staple. I almost got all pairs of those on um, the ones I can get when they drop. Sometimes, you know, stock eggs, gold, and things like that, they can cost you a pretty penny, but I try to get them when they first drop, just like everybody else. And then, obviously, I got a, I got a lot of designer shoes, but I'm trying to get, get from wearing designer shoes, you know, I'm trying to wear more Nikes, because I love Nikes, and just get back to the roots, you know, uh, stepping back inside who I really am, you know. And then on the clothes tip, man, I love, I love, I love clothes, I love Louis V. Love Dior, love all those things, so. You got that. This is one of the most expensive ones right here. I wore this on my 26th birthday, we was in Phoenix. Crazy, we played Phoenix on my 26th birthday, and we playing Phoenix again on my 27th birthday this year, so. Shit crazy, but I wore this on my birthday last year. It's one of my favorite ones. Probably won't ever sell that one. Um, but a throwback piece, though, I ain't even wear this one yet, though. This one's tough. Little Bucks, Little Bucks, Mitchell Ness Bucks. Can't go wrong, man. This one's tough. Put that on with a little hat or something. Like I said, man, ring night tomorrow. I'm excited. Got all my friends and family in town. It's all a part of the story. Gotta stay locked in. Let's go. Pull up in the city in the bin, take a billet. It had black on the seat, it had white on the floor. If it ain't gonna try me in the club, got a shotty on me. Last time that I checked, it was five chains on my neck. It was no smut on my breath. Last time that I checked, I was selling zones in the set. Make a quarter meal, no sweat. Last time that I checked. Yeah, I done got me a chick, I got a chick. Yeah, I done got me a chick, I got a chick. Yeah, I done got me a chick, I got a chick.
I ain't gonna lie, I feel good, man. Very excited. Um, you know, didn't play tonight. Um, was disappointed in that, but the team got the win. Um, eight more days left, man. <laughs> Should we back on track, man? Stay like that. Today, first and foremost, check these little fitties out we got. I love hats. Nice. Got the great brim, you know, no black brims. But, you know, it's a new to 2021 champions, Milwaukee Bucks. She had a nice case. Oh, it fell off though, but uh, we here though. <laughs> Real talk. Real blue though. Got the Bucks and Six on there. See the Bucks and Six. Got all the all the series wins, 4-0 against the Heat, 4-3 against the Nets, 4-2 against the Hawks, 4-2 in the finals against the Suns, as you all know. Got my number on there and my name. Fear the deer, as always. And then what's so cool and unique about it, what I like, is that you can take it off. It has a QR code on here. And if you scan that, it has all our highlights of the playoffs and us winning. And it has all the implements of you know, what's made on the on the ring. How many stones are on it, how many carrots and so on. And this is real cool right here. Or you can put this on a pendant. Or you can put this on a chain. Like that's 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 unique. I probably would never do it though, but this is my ring right here. Earn this. Players play their whole career trying to get this. And I got one. You're you're six, so um, looking forward to a great Healthy year seven, started off a little shaky with a little hamstring injury, but I'm back next week, I'm locked in, baby.